Some parents don't realize what babysitters don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple cards to figure out if it's something you handle yourself, if you need a backup adult, or if you need to call 911. The Safe Sayer is a program to teach young teens and tweens to be safe when they are babysitting. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When you babysit someone, you're in charge of their life. I'm Ingrid, and I'm 13 years old. One of the best parts of being 13 is, like, independence. Up there is, like, things that I don't play with anymore. They're, like, my old toys. I became interested in babysitting with my younger brother. When my parents go out, I do watch him, make sure he's not doing anything, like, dangerous or anything that could get him hurt. At Dignity Health, there is a safe sitter program. It's about like learning the dangers and how to be prepared. All right, well, good morning. You're gonna be here all day and you're like, what can I possibly learn all day? But you will be surprised. Dignity Health started this program in 1995. We've taught over 1,100 kids and I've been involved in teaching the majority of those. How Safe Sarah got started, what happened is a child, a toddler, came into the emergency room and the child had choked. The child had a babysitter. By the time they got the child into the ER, the child died. The first job we tend to give kids is babysitting. And if we're going to give you that kind of job, we need to equip you to be able to do that kind of job. How many of you are willing to change a poopy <laughs> diaper right now? They would love to be good babysitters. They don't necessarily know how. There you go. With Safe Sarah, they are equipped to be caregivers. Is that going to be hard enough to move that object out? We need a big burst of air. The very most important thing we teach about is choking. Don't go like this. It's boom. There you go. It's going to be scary when you're doing it. I'm going to be honest with you but you have to stay calm and you have to do it. It's nice to learn how to actually do it on like a mannequin, but it would definitely be difficult on a real person. But this is what you need to do. One, By teaching two. them what to do with choking, we're hoping that they never have to use CPR. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six. Before seven, the class, eight, I was thinking, nine, babysitting. This is more we play together and I make sure they just don't run off or do anything dangerous. I want to see those chests go up. Good. All right, good job. You're done. Then after the class, Ingrid, I'm thinking there's way more things that could happen while babysitting a kid. Now I do feel more confident. Hey, I'm going to be gone probably about an hour. I love you. Playing? We are empowering our community. Careful. We are teaching our community to care with skills. And so to me, that's all part of human kindness. <laughs>